TMZ Pop Quiz! Why is Justin Timberlake like an old-timey riverboat gambler? Answer, because they both got an ace up their sleeve! Sort of! We'll explain. So on the night Justin was pulled over, he was following two companions that were in another car. When they saw that he was being pulled over, they circled back around, and the female passenger, the woman in the car, got out and went up to the police officers and said, why are you arresting Justin Timberlake. Can we just stop for <laughs> just a moment? <laughs> I mean, it's the, don't you know who he is? Right. Don't you know who my friend is? And remember, the officer very famously did not know who he was. Timberlake, is he, does he work in lumber? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, Justin's friend offered to take him to her home where he was staying, and when the officer shot that down, she said, Can I at least drive the car back to, back to the house while you're arresting him? The officer says, no problem. The problem is that she had actually been at the restaurant a couple of hours before JT arrived and had been drinking the entire time. And therein lies Justin's attorney's cunning plan. What Justin's attorney's are gonna argue is that she was physically showing signs of inebriation and that she had been drinking. And if the officer's judgment was so impaired, he just allowed her to go forward, what does that say about his judgment in assessing Justin Timberlake? That is exactly what the lawyers argue. He's a really good lawyer, his name is Ed Burke Jr. The win is not getting the case dismissed because it's not gonna happen. The win is, the prosecutor's gonna say, oh God, there are gonna be all these little problems. We'll just plead no contest to reckless driving. That's the win. So he doesn't have DWI in his record. But wait, won't they need proof that Justin's friend was also drinking? They have body cams. You know, I have a drink snob. <laughs> yeah, not sure she was quite that drunk, but only time will tell. Drive safe out there, everybody.